Welcome back to The Social Circle. Social media has changed how we do everything, from making plans, to sharing our experiences, to receiving our news, to supporting our favorite teams and celebrities. It has also had a major impact on another important pastime, dating. Social media and the smartphone have collided to completely revolutionize the dating game. A few short years ago, we were in awe over the capabilities of basic online dating, but now we have reached a whole new level. Earning the distinction as Coastal's most popular dating app is Tinder, a service that allows users to find potential significant others by setting geographic, gender, and age specifications. For example, a Tinder user could ask to see all female Tinder users within 25 miles who are between the ages of 18 and 24. If the user likes a fellow Tinder user, or in Tinder terms, swipes right, the two users will be put into contact with each other if and only if the other person swipes right as well. Love or hate the concept, Tinder is extremely popular nationwide. Ten years ago, many coastal students probably would have preferred to meet their boyfriend or girlfriend on Prince Lawn or at Sino Grill. Nowadays, things are just a little different. But the risk of meeting someone off of an app is real. We have all heard the stories of first-time dates going seriously wrong. However, for every report the media runs on dating site violence, you'll be able to find 10 success stories from friends who have had safe and fun encounters. What you need to do is just take some provisions before meeting someone from an app like Tinder for the first time. Let me offer you three tips to protect yourself. One, do your homework on the person beforehand. Google them, check out their Facebook and Twitter profiles, and contact any mutual friends you might have before that first date. Verify that the story they have told you checks out and that there are no red flags in the person's past. Two, Skype or FaceTime the person before your first in-person meeting. Being able to physically see the person in this type of protected way is important. You can make sure they actually look like the person they portray themselves to be in their profile photos, and you can also pick up a lot from their nonverbal cues. If they refuse a Skype or FaceTime session, you should refuse to date. Finally, three, make the first date a group date. Have a couple friends come along to join you. Not only will this offer protection, but your friends will also be able to give you an unbiased opinion on the person once the date is over. Social media and smartphones give us the power to do so much. Who thought not too long ago that we might be able to find our future spouse simply by swiping right? By all means, we should embrace what technology gives us, but we should always take simple precautions. However you choose to date, do it safely.